How to manage obstacles. The robot recognizes obstacles higher than 10 centimeters, and if these obstacles can be hit without being damaged by the robot, you don't need to delimit them. A pole or a tree with no protruding roots can be hit by the robot. The robot collides with obstacles without causing any damage and can change direction without needing to turn. Any obstacles that the robot should not collide with need to be encircled by the wire, placed down at the proper distance according to the obstacle's characteristics and in a counterclockwise direction. Lay down the wire in a straight line towards the obstacle and just partially fix the nails on the way to the obstacle. You will complete their fixing on the way back from it. Encircle the obstacle counterclockwise. Fully fix the nails at the appropriate distance around the obstacle. The distance between nails can be less than 1 meter on curved ways. When the complete circle is created, fix the wire below the temporary nail set before, making sure that the two wires are not crossed but rather close to one another. Continue setting the wire from the obstacle back towards the perimeter and fix it under the temporary nails close to the wire going in the opposite direction. Fix the nails completely. The robot won't detect wires laid close to each other along a minimum length of 70 centimeters and will pass them over. Continue the installation along the perimeter and encircle all obstacles following the same procedure. If two or more obstacles are close to each other, circle the obstacle closest to the perimeter. Lay down the wire straight towards the second obstacle, circle around it, then go back with the wire towards the first obstacle by laying it close to the other if the length of overlapping wire between the obstacles is a minimum of 70 centimeters. If two or more obstacles are in close proximity of each other, so that the length of overlapping wire between obstacles is less than 70 centimeters, it is advisable to lay down the wire considering these objects as a unique obstacle. Always encircle the obstacles in a counterclockwise direction. Respect the minimum distance of 30 centimeters between the wire to and from the second object, and make sure not to cross the wire on the way back to the perimeter. If you need to create secondary areas, go to Content, How to Create Secondary Areas. If you want to improve the return mode of the robot to the charging station, go to Content, Return Methods to the Charging Station.